All right, hello everybody. Today we are going to be making, I should say, hello everybody. Today we're going to be making New England molasses bread out of bread. my bread book by Katherine Hawkins. Bread book. <laughs> my bread book. My bread book that has uh, typos everywhere. I shouldn't say everywhere, that's not fair. Just discovered a few. Okay, so I already have my water measured out. We are one and a half cups of water. Most importantly, make sure your paddle's in the bottom. I make about every uh, silly mistake. Anyway, I've made about every mistake you can make here. So we got the water in. Three tablespoon molasses. This is going to be interesting. I almost think I'm going to use this as a catch can for it because molasses. See if I can give you a shot of this stuff. Right there, look at that, how interesting this stuff is. You go, you go ahead and set the timer, Katushi, thank you. Ah, you see how this is interesting to measure out? Let's let it run out so that I'm not doing heaping tablespoons here. Ugh, this is gonna be a mess. I can tell already this is going to be a mess. I'm going to put this on here. Okay, you put it right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, you put it on. I guess the audio is not going to be very good on this one because the baby's playing in the background here. Because it's time to go. Oh, this stuff is like honey. Let's see, let it run out a little bit. Got to be patient here. Ugh. Ugh, gross. I should say how interesting. So there's two. Just got to let this stuff run. Ugh. There we go. Let's go for three. See if we can keep that drain in one hand. Get another hand to clean this up. Ugh. <laughs> Little messy. So we'll just let most of that run out and we'll call that good. Catch it, throw it in there. Wipe this up before we put this away and make a god awful mess. And never be able to open this again. <laughs> All right, that took a minute. <laughs> One teaspoon lemon juice. Got my freshly squeezed lemon juice going right here. Oh. Top her off, two more drops. One teaspoon lemon juice. A uh, quarter stick of unsalted butter. If I were smarter, I'd get my knives out here. I always need a lot of knives. We're going to do our best approximation here. I think that's approximately a half a stick left, so we're going to approximate a half of that, and that should be a quarter. Put that in without splashing too much, unsuccessfully. Wipe off our bread machine. All right. That's that. Where are we going from here? Lemon juice, butter, three and a half cups white bread flour. I can do that. Let's clear our space here. It's also a good illustration. You do not need a lot of space to make bread. You do this living out of a van, as long as you had enough solar to run your bread machine. So there's my half. And let's find my 
one cup measure. No. So we need three of these. One. One. Two. Two. There we go. Making mess. You're not cooking unless you're making a mess. All right. Flowers in. Okay, now they say to use polenta here. I'm using cornmeal. In the other recipe for the Boston style brown bread, they're using polenta and cornmeal interchangeably. So I'm going to assume I can do the same for this. We'll see how it comes out. Maybe it'll be tragedy. That's a half cup. Oh man. Oops. Looks like I'll be adding a half cup because I accidentally used a three quarter cup. And your dry ingredient measures need to be pretty, pretty accurate. So this is supposed to be three quarters of a cup of um, polenta or uh, cornmeal, but I messed up, so we're only using a half cup. Life's not perfect, oh well. One and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm measuring poor, so one, two, three, I hear four eighths make a half, so that's that. Um, let me wipe this out a little bit so I can use this for my yeast as well. And one and a half teaspoons, of yeast. actually, you know what, I have a half teaspoon, we'll do three of these. Three of these half teaspoons will be one and a half of yeast. Here we go. Finish this up quickly so we get back to our push-ups. Yeah. Oops, you know what I'm supposed to do, usually. Let's make a little happy little hole for the yeast. Although I really don't think this makes a huge difference because it starts mixing pretty quickly. One. Two. Three. That would be one and a half teaspoons of yeast. I think we're ready to rock here. Bam! It's gonna be medium crust also. Wipe off the edges here. We'll drop it in, it's in. Most importantly, you gotta plug it in. All right. So in a mere two hours and 50 minutes, we're going to have New England molasses bread. Unfortunately, they don't have a beautiful picture for us of these, but oh well. We'll see what mine comes out looking like. Anyway, come back to you in a few hours. All right, let's see what the fruits of our labor produced. It was funny to watch it go. It literally, uh, <laughs> it overrose the container. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna get this thing out of here. Oh, here we go. Arr. Getting your home. It's gonna be hot. Aha. So you'll see here. Oh my god, that's take a big. Yeah, I know, it like overrose. It rose outside. I don't even know how I'm gonna get out of here. It's like I gotta. Do do do. Let's fish that by there. When it was, oh, and the paddle came out too. Beautiful. Um, when it was cooking, I was thinking it was actually going to lift the lid up. It was rising so much. But there you go. We got to let this sit for an hour and then we can try it. But that's the uh, in initial look. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to finish the loaf before we give you a shot of it. So that little mark right there is a little bit of the paddle still showing. Uh, that's what it looks like on the inside. And 
end. Where's my piece? I lost my piece. Let's do a little piece out here for a tester. Mmm. That's good. The molasses definitely makes it sweet. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. I like it. It reminds me of um the dinner roll recipe at like a really fancy restaurant where you have kind of like a slightly sweet dinner roll. Very good. Okay. Delicious. Give it a day or two, see how it tastes in a day or two, because it always uh, goes downhill from being fresh very quickly. And we'll see how long it lasts. We might add this to the uh, rotation of uh, recipes we use on a regular basis. You want more bread? Okay, the kids like it. Everybody have a good weekend.